We the team of Sense Islam bring you Prevail Islam, your true guidance. MashaAllah with your support, we have launched a channel which is going to produce and provide next level Islamic quality content that will be informative, fascinating and engaging. So share and subscribe to our new channel to support as we step up in the league. Links in the description box below. And Jazakallah for all the love that you have already been showing till date. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. How many of you are watching the FIFA World Cup? There's so much news coming out from there. We can't make videos on every single incident. Therefore, we pick and choose. So today, we bring this about none other than Ghanim Al Muftah. He's Qatar's FIFA World Cup ambassador. He's a 20 year old activist, entrepreneur, and an influencer with nearly 3.6 million followers on Instagram. His performance at the historic opening ceremony went viral on social media. The BBC and other Western outlets choose to ignore it for no other reason than Islamophobia. He was born with half of the body. He was diagnosed with caudal regression syndrome. It's a rare disorder that impairs the development of the lower half of the body, but he defied all the odds. In 2016, he climbed the highest mountain peak in the entire Gulf region. A year later in 2017, he visited Kaaba in Mecca in Saudi Arabia to complete the Umrah pilgrimage. He also started his own charity to help disabled children and Ghanim Al Muftah's association for wheelchairs with the support of his family. Subhanallah. Have you ever seen people showing strength on this level? Sabr and perseverance are portrayed here beautifully. He's walking with his hands and expressing gratitude and thanking Allah the Almighty. Imagine stepping in his shoes. Forget stepping in. We don't even want to think of that scene in our lives. Let's face it, it's not easy. It's not for everyone. Allah tests us according to our strengths. We won't be given more than we can bear. As per multiple media reports, his mother wanted to enroll him in a school for primary education. However, many schools refused him and the last school he finally managed to get admission in, children were shying away from playing with him due to his disability. Al Muftah attributes his positive outlook on life to his mother and learning persistence and patience from his father. Al Muftah aspires to join the diplomatic work in his country. He was a goodwill ambassador for the Good Hands Foundation towards Asia in 2015 and he also participated in the United Nations Youth Forum in 2017. Brothers and sisters, his life story is so inspiring. It makes us feel guilty about complaining. Despite we have so much, gratitude is the key to happiness. Instead of complaining, we should realize someone else has made better out of the situation which was worse than us. He used to play football while wearing gloves during his student days. Apart from football, he also enjoys diving and has shown the essence of diving up to 200 meters in the sea. Subhanallah. This gives us so much hope and I hope it inspires you as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, So do not weaken and do not grieve and you will be superior if you are true believers. Have you seen the opening ceremony with Morgan Freeman? It was perfect. MashaAllah. Brilliantly put forward where they quoted the Quran verse. Ghanim al Muftah got the opportunity to recite the Quran on the world stage. What a moment for him. Allah knows what's best for us, but we need to put in 100% efforts with what we have and what we can. Then, results will come from Allah. They will come pouring on his schedule. He's the most wise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us deep understanding. Ameen. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you like the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.